Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, if you see me on Facebook, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I wanted to make this video, it specifically has to do with this pretty cool tool that's been around for a while, but I got it and I'm using it and maybe some of you out there have thought about using it, but you haven't made the move yet. So I would advise you if you want it, the best thing to do is watch as many videos as you can before you get your... Um, your seven day free tri trial, I will have a link in the description, but the best thing to do is to get as much education on it so you're not getting it and then jumping into um, learning it while your trial is going. You can pick up as much education. I'm going to show you some here, some pretty cool tricks. So um, right here, make friends who always who force you to level up. Make friends who force you to level up. That's uh, really important in this this world that we're living in these days. So I wanted to show you a SEM rush. And I'm going to use French Bulldogs because you can do this for any kind of dog. There's always different knowledges on different dogs. French Bulldogs, they're small, kind of ugly, but cuddly. They don't leave too much of a mess, you know. And as we all know, pets are just like family. So I want to use French Bulldogs, but the purpose of this video is because let's say this for example right i just pulled this up before i got this going um i narrowed it down you can get all the markets here and the reason i bring this up because i'm over here in salt lake city and right now with everything going on with this pandemic people are going to the humane societies they're uh, adopting pets dogs and there's so many different kinds so in this example, I'm using French Bulldogs, but they're a lot different than uh, Pit Bulls. Um, English Bulldogs, because like Pit Bulls, they're, they're uh, pretty active. You could, um, you could take them places, this, you could take them running. French or English Bulldogs, they go into heat strokes. You gotta be, you know, their health things are different, so people pick up education on these new dogs they just got. So right here is going to bring up all these websites right here this one's getting a uh, 17.6 million traffic volume traffic growth is 18.7 percent so is what you could do here you can narrow it down to 70. it's going to pick out this this is a really cool tool i want to show you a few other things so this video might be a little bit longer and you could pick up the, the top 10 to 30 so in this example i'm going to do top 20. And there's FrenchBulldogRescue.org. And you, uh, it'll give you everything here. The game changers, the leaders, uh, niche players, people who are uh, websites that are in this niche, established players. And let's see, let's go down here. That's how much traffic they're getting. They're getting a lot. I mean, total traffic trends. And... There's other places where you could pick up information. Just you, if you want to see what's trending, you go up here. Uh, I'm going to show you Google Trends. It's free. Uh, this chart right here will show you how popular they've become within not that long ago. This says right here as of April 5th, 2020. Um, really popular in, my, in Wyoming, Montana, Rhode Island, Idaho, Kansas. And Google Trends right here will will show you a lot. Another place where you can find out where they're real popular is uh, Facebook, Facebook groups. So let's say you um, you got a product you want to promote to, I mean, there's so many different groups. Uh, Utah even has a, a page right here. There, there's not too many members there, but this one right here, look, there's 60,000 members, um, 8.1 thousand members. French Bulldog community has, um, 111,000 members. So, I mean, these uh, they're really active right here. French Bulldog Lovers, two, uh, 210K. So, there's a lot of um, a lot of potential here that, you know, if somebody just got a French Bulldog, they might need help on, on learning how certain things they could tolerate. Maybe they can't tolerate too much heat. Maybe they, um, certain things they can't do. So, it's good to find that information and try to provide it to them the best as possible so let's go back to a SEM rush and what's cool about this all this information right here because you could go down 
total traffic trends I mean it's going to tell you right here this chart we updated mobile traffic sources in April 2019 until then mobile traffic sources were merged and undefined so it'll show you right here the colors which is direct traffic referral search social and paid and you might not be able to go to these uh, this website right here and ask them if you could market on their website but there's a lot of other players here I mean these people let's get into that real quick right here I want to kind of show you real quick uh, you click that ah. where is it where is it it's right here somewhere Market audience, okay, got that. Then you got dogs, or ninety-five percent, veterinarians, cats. So I'm trying to show you this real quick before I, I want to show you, uh, okay, relevant sites. That's kind of where I want to show you, because the relevant sites shows the total traffic. French Bull, that's that's a lot of traffic. That's pretty high up there. So you might want to just work your way up, like see if you get a hold of of you know uh french bulldog club get a hold of them and see if you could put like a landing page up where you can start gathering leads uh give like a guide of some kind of um like be creative make like a a pdf of a ebook or something of like toys they like to play with um how to keep your french bulldog active um what they uh, what they like, what they don't like from your experience, from the education, the knowledge that you picked up. So there's so many things you could go in here and do. And the cool thing is, go back to overview, and you can simply you can grab the top 20, grab top 20 or 30, whichever you prefer. And um, this is the cool thing. So let's say you have a seven day trial. And like I said in the beginning of this video, you're going to want to uh, pick up as much knowledge as you can before you get your seven-day trial and um, start gathering stuff. All you do is click that, and it's going to export all this right here. And it's going to go down here into your computer files, and you're going to get as much as possible. And here it is right here. Let me get rid of me right here real quick. Yeah. But right here, boom. It just gave it to you right here. Also, you can um, go back to this website where you found your traffic at, where you've seen the relevant sites. You can go here, and this is going to, you could also export this as well. You'll get all this information on a, on a sheet that you can um let me just show you get all this information right here on a sheet and you're going to save it of course and it's going to tell you right here the websites if you can't see that you just kind of open that up dub double click that it'll open everything up and now you have all these websites that you could reach out to and work on building a business off of French Bulldogs little French Bulldogs people love them they're really popular and they're uh, pretty cool you could also um, I want to show you some uh, keyword stuff right here the keyword magic tool that's why I said this video might be a little longer because um kind of going into a few things here I got into this uh, SEMrush SEMrush whatever you want to call it and I've been just picking at it I've been picking at it pretty uh, pretty hard so you could go up here and let's uh, let's do just French Bulldog puppies because everybody wants a puppy so they could raise it so French Bulldog puppies volumes 10 
Let's see this French Bulldog. And the cool thing is, let's say you do make an ebook of a bunch of information you picked up of a French Bulldog. You could always go in here into these groups. Um, make sure you uh, read their rules and stuff because some people don't like um, uh, sp spammy stuff, of course. But when you join them, you could go in there and just put a link to your book. Tell them, I don't got nothing for sale, although you do have your links of your affiliate product that you're promoting in your ebook but you're giving away this ebook for free all they do is click it next thing you know they run into your links and then you got you might have some potential sales there so there's different little strategies you can do but you just got to get your stuff out there into the net because somewhere out there I mean look look at this one right here uh, French Bulldog lovers let's go over here real quick People love these dogs. People love them. I mean, they got the stories. And look how many people are here hanging out. So, I mean, it's really a lot of potential here. A lot, a lot of potential. You could, um, you could go in here. You know, they got 18 comments. And whatever comments, how many they have. You could go into where it's real deep. There's other websites you could do this on as well. I'm just using these three as an example. So you could go in here and just type in hi, um, hi, I, I like these, I like these dogs as well. And then just let them know you're not selling nothing, but you post, but you just want to give away that your book that you just made. And then um, you might have a lot of potential new customers. Of course, as for their email address their, and their name, their name and their email address is what you want to grab. Um, I want to have some other videos right here where it's going to kind of go to how to make a high converting landing page. But you could do it in any niche. I mean, it's really, really took a while for me to learn this stuff. But French Bulldogs, I mean, the trend is pretty good. And this could be for any dog. Any dog, a bulldog, a of, of Rottweiler, um, German Shepherds, so many different dogs out there that you could do. So, all keywords 202. That's a lot. That's some good keywords right there. So, let's see right here. French. Yeah, short tail keywords, long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are like five words and up so right here look I just brought up a lot more blue Frenchies um, cute French Bulldogs pictures of French bull and look there's all there are all kinds of good information right here and all you got to do is go right here I'm just gonna do it for this video and I'm gonna download it too I could do a CSV file XLSX file or this other CSV file that I'm never I'm not familiar with this one but I'm okay with these two so I'm just gonna click that one and it's gonna bring down all these keywords and open me up a whole new sheet here let me get rid of this one guys if I want to save it I'll save it. I might use it later but here we go with this one right here relevant sites I want to save that one then I want to expand that one I'll open that up and it's going to give me a lot of these keywords that are used of course you go up here open that up and you got all these keywords right here so when like you're either making a video on on your YouTube channel or you got something going on in some kind of social media you have a bunch of keywords that are really powerful and um, has high potential of bringing you more clients on whatever dog your um, whatever dog you are talking about with any kind of breed but yeah so 
lot of cool stuff out there. I mean, like I said, you go to Facebook, um, right here in the, uh, Google Trends. Google Trends, you can see what's really trending going out there. I mean, they've they got popular TV shows. There's so much going on out there, and Google Trends has a lot of it. So, so yeah, it's pretty awesome what you could do here with the Internet. So, anyway, I just wanted to make this video. Um, for you, if you, uh, if you like what you see, please hit, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and you'll be getting some notifications when I'm making up some new videos. But this is how you use SEMrush. Um, these three sites right here, Facebook and Google Trends, to build you a list of these French Bulldogs or whatever business you want to get into. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. You have a good day. Good night. Bye.